wow, that's trippy. Look at that. Ooh. I hate having like charging equipment just everywhere in a bag. So I've got an idea to make a charging bag. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I think it's gonna really solve my issues and really help out when we're traveling around so much. You know, you go to different hire cars, different vans and stuff like that. So this bag should solve my charging issues. camera gear that needs to be charged and uh, so that's two main camera bodies one vlogging camera phones a drone two laptops that's sort of like our our travel kit um, and just having this bag is just such a mess with all the cables and everything everywhere so what I was planning on doing is I'm gonna convert this standard size sort of packing cell to a charging bag. Now what it's gonna have is everything's gonna be laid out in the bottom of it uh, and wired up. So all I have to do is then plug into a 12 volt cigarette socket and the bag will go live. And when I say live, I mean it'll have power to all the ports and whatnot. So the I've done really good to reduce our kit down to mostly 12 volt. So I've got all these sort of, um, you know, USB chargers which run a five volt. So if I get it below 12, then that's fine to charge. A few things that I cannot charge on less than 12 volts are the laptop, the drone, and then sort of this USB hub thing in my bobby. So I have this inverter, which is just a small 120 watt inverter with a peak of 175. Now, because I've purchased it in the US, though it's got US plugs, so I have to put on these Australian adapters uh, to make sure that I can use it. So I've just got two of those on, and as soon as that gets plugged in, I've got two sockets that can run up. Should be pretty good. So how am I gonna stick it down? Good old Velcro. I'm gonna line the bag with Velcro, stitch it up, work on my layout first of all, that's the most important part, and then yeah, wire it all up so everything even though I might want it taken out, it will still be removable. And the good thing about using a bag like this, rather than something rigid, is all I have to do is zip it up, and I can maybe even fold it in half or whatnot, so that's the plan. So just to run you through like what I have here, this is my inverter, which I talked about. This is my small laptop charger. This is a uh, sort of a USB charger. It's got two ports. It's a high capacity spare battery. This is an adapter to run to five USB ports. These two blue ones are what they call like a quick charge. So that'd be really good to charge this plus the iPhone. Then I have log vlogging batteries and Canon 6D batteries. And then what I can run out of there is cables for the old iPhone. Oh no, I forgot something. This one here is the drone charger. So that's for the drone as well. I'm excited. Once again, there's a iPhone charger, ready to go. Canon 6D, 
the little Canon M50. That's the inverter. That's my laptop charger there. That's the drone charger. That's the battery bank. That's the USB hub. So pretty good. And all you do is plug that bad boy in. Done. So that's it. The bag's all complete. It's all wired up. It's all ready to go. Um, this should charge absolutely everything we need. The only charger that's not in here is Haley's laptop charger, but she carries that in another bag, so it's all good. The only thing I've got to remember is when I go through an airport, I've got to take out the the battery bank. Uh, that's got to come on board with me, not get checked in. This is probably a good little video just to mention that last night I made the decision not to do the WA series vlogs. Uh, I am gonna do one or two videos from there, but it's just too much to try and catch up on with the adventures that we have coming up. So I'm gonna leave WA for now, probably edit them next year at this rate. And yeah, I go to Tassie on Wednesday. What's today? Monday? Yeah, go to Tassie in two days. Oh, yeah, no, I leave the house on Wednesday, fly Thursday. It counts, right? It's Wednesday. <laughs>